Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me for this Breathe Beginner Flow. As always, for today's class, if you know you're a bit more flexible, I highly, highly suggest you grab two blocks and maybe a yoga belt or anything you can think of to replace. When you're ready, one simply one minute. So when you guys are ready, you can go ahead and grab your props, place them towards the top of your mat because that's probably where you're going to need them to begin. And when you're ready, simply making your way into your child's pose. So bring your knees slightly wider than hips distance. Big toes are going to attempt to touch with your exhalation, slowly letting your bum glide towards your heels. Hands glide forward. Forehead here is maybe going to melt down on the mat. When you're here, I'll also invite you to close your eyes if you haven't already done so. Taking this time to truly connect to your breath, to your body. Simply checking in with yourself, how you're feeling today. Trying to bring yourself in a place of non-judgment. Trying to Stay in this place for the rest of the practice. Also starting to activate your ujjayi breath. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Always ensuring that each inhalation and exhalation is as equal as possible. Next, inhalation, slowly press your hands down on the mat, curl your chin towards your chest, wave it forward to a tabletop position. So when you're here, unglue your feet, make sure your shoulders are over your wrists, hips over knees, fingers are spread out wide. We're going to start with a little wrist warm up. So with your next inhalation, you're going to draw some circles towards the right. So you can draw as big circles as feels best for you today. All right, three more on this side, engaging your core. Last one, beautiful. Next inhale, same thing towards the left. Make sure fingers are spread out wide, palm of the hand stays glued to the mat. Two more here. Beautiful. Next inhalation, slowly come back to your center. Gonna inhale, flip your hand so fingers are pointing towards each side and we're gonna start to move towards right and left. Right and left, a few more here. Beautiful, last time. And next, inhalation, come back to your center. Now you're going to flip your hands so fingers are facing towards you. You're going to inhale, shift the weight a little forward, and then sit your bum towards your heels, but keep your palm of the hands touching down on the mat, then move forward and back. One more like this. Then you're going to stay sitting back and hold. Focus on your breath. Then next, exhalation, slowly let your hands peel out of the mat. You can interlace fingers. Then from here, making little circles with your wrists, alternating sides, so right and left, or simply grades, whatever feels best. Then with your next exhalation, slowly going to release, planting your hands down, tuck the back toes. Lift yourself all the way up, finding your downward facing dog. When you're here, take a moment. Make sure you're taking enough space on the mat. You can always paddle out the legs if you need. As always, if you're a little tighter in the hamstrings, maybe even keeping the heels lifted. Slide bend in the knees, ensuring that you're pressing your chest towards your thighs. 
wrapping your arms around and in. So imagine your armpits looking at each other. You want to keep your fingers spread out wide because if they're glued together, you do put more pressure in your wrist joints. Looking towards the navel. Two full breaths here. Try and find some comfort in the shape. Next, inhale, you're going to inhale, curl your chin in, really round in the back of the heart, wave it forward to your high plank. When your shoulders are over, you're going to exhale, drop the belly, lift the tail, lift the gaze, bend the knees as much as you need, simultaneously let your hips slide you back. Stay looking forward till the last second, so till your heels come down. Two more, inhale, curl your chin in, moving as slow as you can, it's not a race. Exhale, drop the belly. Lift the tail, lift the gaze, bend the knees, look forward. Try not overthink the movement, not caring about what you look like. Just feeling it out. Last time, inhale, really round in the back of the heart. Exhale. Drop the belly, lift the tail, lift the gaze. When you make it back, inhale, right leg is going to reach up. Take a moment, make sure your hips are squared towards the front of the mat. Right leg is as straight as you can, doesn't matter how high. You can also do that by flexing your left foot to ensure your hips are squared. Inhale, left heel lifts off the mat. Exhale, tuck. Right thigh towards your chest. Slowly lower your foot in between your hands. Knee back, knee comes down. Untuck the back toes. Inhale, arms come up. Low lunge. From here, maybe you're going to want to grab your blocks. With your exhalation, place your hands on your blocks by your side. Make sure. Right knee over ankle. Over your right ankle, your shoulders are over your hips, so you're not here. You're pressing your hips forward and down. So if you're here, maybe you're stuck, but you're not in the right position, right? So make sure you walk your foot forward, allow your hips to sink down. Next, inhale, you're going to press your hands down on your blocks, shift your hips back. From here, I want you to straighten your front leg. It's okay if you need multiple blocks here, whatever you need. This leg needs to be straight, foot flex, so toes are curling towards your face. Left hip is over your knee. Your hips are square towards the front of the mat. Inhale to lengthen the spine. If you feel a stretch here, stay here, or maybe with your exhalation, you can melt a little bit more, but I want your spine to stay straight. So if you're rounding like this, that just means you need to lift yourself up. Make sure your shoulders are not here, but down and away, and you're looking forward, all right? Two more full breaths here. Make sure you use your exhale. Help you release that tension. Next, inhale and press your hands down on your block. Straight back. With your exhalation, shift the hips forward. Find back your low lunge. Inhale, arms come up. You're going to inhale again. Tuck the back toes. With your exhalation, lift it up. High lunge. Next, exhale, you're going to lower that back foot down, 45. Make sure your heels are in line. You're going to extend your arms by your side. Make sure your shoulders are away from your ears, your chest is not too far forward. So bringing your upper body a little bit back. Bending in that front leg for your warrior two, looking forward. Inhale, dive it forward to reverse. So you're going to grab your back thigh or your shin with your left hand. Keep pressing your chest forward. That right arm should be behind your head. Next, exhalation, dive it forward, centering that right forearm into your right thigh, pressing your chest forward for your modified side angle, left arm behind your head. Next, exhalation, slowly lower left hand down. You're going to shift the weight all the way to your left, right arm reaches up. Stacking your right leg over the left. If it's too hard, you can always lower that left shin down. Just find a variation of side plank that's still challenging for you. Holding here for five. Make sure you're feeling the stack of that left shoulder over wrist for four, three, two. Slowly lower right hand down, finding your high plank. When you're here, you can always lower your knees down. Untuck the back toes, wrap your arms around and in. Shift the weight forward. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, curl your chin in, downward facing dog. Really nice when you're here, take a moment. Two full breaths, just to reconnect with the shape of your body.
Inhale. Next inhalation, right away. Inhale, left leg reaches up. So your leg is long. Hips are square. Inhale, right heel lifts off the mat. Exhale to tuck. Left side to your chest. Slowly lower foot in between your hand, back knee come down, untuck the back toes. Inhale, arms come up, low lunge. Exhale to place your hands by your side, maybe on your blocks. Again, make sure shoulders are over hips, knee over ankle. You're pressing your hips forward and down. Next inhalation, maybe press your hands down on your blocks, shift your hips back. Try and straighten that front leg as much as you can. Flex that left foot so toes are curling towards your face. Ensuring right hip over knee. You're going to inhale to press your chest forward. Make sure shoulders are oh, way away from your ears. Maybe here you feel a stretch. It should be a light stretch. Never pain, right? Or slowly start to work on melting forward. Wherever you are, keep looking forward. Keep that spine straight. Always ensuring you're not holding on to your breath, right? Because when you hold on to your breath, you just create more tension. Next, and high turn, press your hands down on your block, straight back. You're going to exhale, shift your hips forward, find back your low lunge, inhale, arms come up. Inhale again, tuck the back toes to lift, high lunge. With your exhalation, you're going to lower that back foot down, 45 degree, bend in the front leg, extend your arms for your warrior two. All right, so again, bend, 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 extend your arms by your side, make sure your chest is not leaning too far forward, shoulders down and away. Inhale to shift forward for your reverse. So grabbing onto your back thigh or your shin with that right hand. Keep pressing your chest forward. Next, exhalation, glide it forward. You're gonna lower center. Left arm into your left thigh. Right arm comes behind your head. Next, exhale, slowly lower right hand on the inside of your left foot. Start to shift the weight towards the right. Left arm reaches up, maybe stack. Left leg over the right, maybe lower right shin down. Lift those left hips towards the sky. Feel this stack of shoulders over wrists. For five, focus on your breath. Four, three, two. Next exhalation, left hand comes down, high plank. Lower knees down. Wrap your arms around and then shift the weight forward. Chaturanga. Only do chaturanga without your knees down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. So only do chaturanga with, without your knees down if you are sure that you're in full plank the whole time. If you feel your hips sinking down or lifting up, right, it means you need to modify. I'm sure you're going to feel it with your knees down. Really mean the more you practice it, the proper alignment, the more the faster the progress is going to come, right? Next inhalation, right away, right leg reaches up. Three leg and down. Inhale, left heel lifts off the mat. Exhale, tuck in. Right thigh to your chest. Slowly lower right foot in between your hands. Back knee comes down. Untuck the back toes. Inhale, arms come up. Low lunge. Exhale, I'm going to press your hands right around your blocks. Shift your hips back. Straighten the front leg, inhale to lengthen the spine. And again, exhale, maybe walk forward. Moving a little faster here. Inhale, carry your chin in. Shift your hips forward again. Here, you're maybe going to like to keep your hands on your blocks. You're going to tuck the back toes, lift your back knee off the mat. Stepping left foot a little closer to the right. I want your heels to be in line, back foot 45. And with your inhalation, I want you to straighten both legs. So again, use the height of blocks you need. If you need more blocks, do so. You can always stack them like this. All right. Inhale, lengthen the spine. So shoulders away from ears. Your hips are square towards the front of the mat. So you're pressing maybe that right hip back a little, left forward. Maybe you stay here again with your exhalation. Work on melting forward. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. So try not bring your chin Towards your chest. Exhaling the tension you might be feeling in your legs, in your hips. One more full breath here. Next, 
next in Haitian press. Your hands down on your block straight back. With your exhalation, you're gonna bend in the front leg, step left foot beside the right. With your inhalation, glide your arms down, sit your bum back, inhale, arms reach up for your chair pose, keep pressing your chest forward, so lifting your chest up, feet together, and slowly inhale to lift all the way up. Exhale, hands come to prayer to heart. Inhale, arms come up all the way up. Exhale, you can always keep a slight bend in the knees. Spine is straight. Let yourself mount forward. When you're all the way down, maybe grabbing onto opposite elbows. Make sure you're shifting the weight towards the tip of the toes. Next, inhalation, press your hands down on your block straight back. With your next inhalation, maybe you're going to like to have your blocks or your yoga belts. I will demonstrate both. So for the first one, here, feet together, bending in your right leg. Inhale, lengthen the spine, right? So maybe you're going to find that here is enough of a stretch for you. Make sure in any forward fold, you're shifting the weight forward towards the tip of the toes, right? So maybe you stay here or exhale, try and work on melting on that left leg. But you can always also use the yoga belt, placing it underneath your feet. And same idea, you're going to use the strength of your arm to find that straight back. So maybe you're here and then slowly work on rowing. When you feel yourself rounding like this, it's because you went too far. Right, so whatever variation you want. Shifting the weight forward. One more full breath here. Next, inhalation, press your hands down on your shins, on your blocks, straight back, both legs are straight. Exhale, gonna bend in the knees, press your hand down, stepping right foot and the left back. Finding your high plank, make sure shoulders are over wrists. We're gonna hold for five, four, staying strong, three, two, press the floor away. Next, exhalation, lower your knees down, untuck the back toes. Shift the weight forward, wrap those arms around and in. Chaturanga. Inhale for upward facing. Exhale, curl your chin in, downward facing dog. Really nice. Again, two full breaths here. Take this time for yourself. As always, if you need to take a little child's pose, please do. Never wait for me to tell you. Always listen to your body. Next inhalation, left leg reaches up. Three legged dog. Inhale, right heel lifts off the mat. Exhale, left leg to your chest. Lower left foot in between your hands. Back knee comes down. Untuck the back toes. Inhale, arms come up for your low lunge. Make sure left knee over ankle. Exhale, right away. Hands maybe on your blocks. Shift your hips back. Inhale, lengthen. So straighten the front leg. Flex that front foot. The spine is straight. You're looking forward. Maybe stay here. Exhale to mount forward. Inhale, curl your chin in, shift your hips forward. Again, back to your low lunge, press your hands down, tuck the back toes, lift that back knee off the mat. Step your right foot a little closer to the left. Again, make sure your hips are square towards the front, so right hip comes a little forward, left a little back. Both legs are straight, so use the height of blocks you need and lengthen your spine. Make sure wherever you are, your shoulders are not here, right? If you're here, you need to readjust. So inhale. And exhale to mount. Always also ensuring that you're at a place where you can take some equal inhalation and exhalation. If you can't take full inhales and exhales, it usually means that you need to modify in some way. There's nothing wrong with modifying, trust me. The sooner you start listening to your own body and not your ego, the better everything will get. Next, inhalation, press your hands down on your block, straight back. I'm gonna slowly bend in the front leg, step. Right foot beside the left. Glide your hands down, sit your bum back, lift your chest up, arms come up, chair. Lift your chest up, sit it back. Inhale to lift it all the way up. Exhale, hands come to prayer to heart. 
Inhale, arms come up all the way up. Exhale, can keep a slight bend in the knees. Spine stays as straight as you can. Let it melt forward. Shift the weight forward towards the tip of the toes. Again, take this time. Maybe holding on to opposite elbows. Shifting the weight a little bit forward. Inhale, pressing your hands down on your block. Straight back. And with your exhalation, same thing. So maybe you're going to grab your yoga belt, maybe your blocks. This time, bend in the left leg. Keep that right leg straight. Start by finding your straight back. Analyze. Maybe here is enough for you. Or work on melting forward. Shift the weight towards the tip of the toe. Make sure you're using your breath to help you calm your mind. Calm your thoughts. Sensation is really only temporary. One more full breath here. Inhale to press your hands down on your block, straight back, both legs are straight. Exhale, press your hands down, bend in the knees, step left foot, then the right. Find your height, find pressing the floor weight, hold five. Four, stay strong, three, two, Exhale, shift the weight forward, knees come down. Wrap those arms around and in. Chaturanga. Inhale for upward facing. Exhale, curl your chin and downward facing back. Really nice. Two last full breaths in this posture. Next inhalation, can bend in the knees slightly. Start to walk your hands towards your feet. When you're here, take a moment. Make sure your feet are about hips distance. Again, you can let yourself mop forward in whatever way feels best. Maybe holding on to opposite elbows. You can also use a yoga belt underneath both feet. And simply start to work here on keeping your spine straight. Whatever feels best. Just one more full breath. Next, inhalation, press your hands down on your block, straight back. With your exhalation, slowly going to walk your feet about a mat distance. Make sure your toes are pointing out, heels in. Start to bend in the legs, sit in your bum, back and down. Just hold by the block, so hands in straight. So sit in your bum, back and down. When you're here, you want to bring your hands to prayer to heart, using the strength of your arm to really press your thighs out. Keeping your spine straight, press your chest forward. Shoulders are down and away from your ears. Right? If you have a hard time keeping your spine straight, you can always sit on a block, whatever height of block you need, and make sure those feet are fully down on the mat. Next, now you're going to press right hand down by your side in front of your right leg. With your exhalation, left arm is going to reach up, pressing your chest forward. Inhale, slowly come back to your center. Both hands come to prayer to heart. And inhale again. Left hand comes down by your side. Right arm reaches up. Press your chest forward. Breathe into it. Next exhalation, slowly come back to your center. Hands to prayer. And exhale, slowly lower your bum down. When you're here, you're going to open your legs as wide as you can. As wide as your flexibility allows you to today as always if your legs are really bent like this you can always grab a block sit your bum onto a block so that you can level yourself with the space that's underneath your legs right so whatever you need at this time maybe we're all going to begin with our pelvic tilt right so pressing your hands in front you're going to inhale to round exhale press your pelvis forward your bum back all right, one more. Inhale to round. It's normal if it feels hard at first. The more you practice it, the more you're mindful about it, the easier it will get. All right, so exhale, press your pelvis forward, your bum back. So maybe you stay here, keeping your hands back behind. Just focus on this little pelvic tilt. This is really going to help you with any hip opener. So when you're here, press your pelvis forward, your bum back. You're pressing your chest forward. So you're not just sitting like this. Right? If you're comfortable, you can keep a spine straight. Maybe you can have both hands on blocks. Maybe you can bring forearms on blocks. 
right? Maybe you want to put your chest on some blocks. We're just going to stay here for three full breaths. So take a little moment for yourself. Using each exhalation to help you go a little deeper. Next exhalation, slowly press your hands down, courage in, lift yourself back up. So you're going to bring your feet together, shake your legs out a little bit from side to side. And when you're ready, slowly making your way towards the top of the mat. When you're here, you can grab onto your shin, curl your chin, slowly lower, lower, middle and upper back. Here, bring your thighs to your chest, maybe taking some movements. Next, you're going to interlace your fingers, grabbing onto your right thigh, flexing both feet. You're going to exhale, slowly extend that left leg in front. Again, make sure you're when you're practicing this posture, you're trying to bring right knee as close to your armpit as you can. Maybe taking circles with your right ankle. Next, exhalation, slowly release. Extending your arms by your side, palms facing down. You're going to look towards the right. Place your left hand on your right knee. When you're here, make sure your shoulder blades stay glued to the mat. Then try to bring maybe right leg towards your left side. If you feel your shoulder blades lifting like this, it's because you went too far. So just glue them back. Doesn't matter where your leg is. Next, exhalation, slowly release, bring back your thighs into your chest, maybe take movement. And then we're going to do the same thing, other side. So you're going to inhale, interlace your fingers, grabbing onto your left shin, flexing the feet, and exhale, extend right leg in front. So you're trying to bring that left knee as close to your armpit as you can, maybe taking circles with your left ankle. Next, inhalation, slowly release, extending your arms by your side, palms facing down. Looking towards the left this time, right hand on your left knee, and exhale to slowly maybe lower your leg towards the right. Keep your shoulder blades glued to the mat. Next, exhalation, slowly release. Thighs can come back to your chest, take some movements. You're going to inhale, flex the feet, grab your feet from the outside. So flexing the feet, you're going to exhale, press your feet down towards the ground, finding your happy baby. When you're here, try and ensure that your ankle is going to stay over your knees, maybe take movements if you want. Then next, exhalation, thighs come back to your chest. So then you're gonna exhale, extend, left leg and the right in front. Shake your legs out a little bit, let your arms come by your side, palms facing up. Prepping yourself here for your final Shavasana. Taking this time to truly integrate everything that we just worked on today. Thank your body for this beautiful practice. As always, I truly hope that you enjoyed this brief beginner flow. May you have a wonderful day. Namaste.